Assalamualaikum. Learn with Fiza is back with another video for you all. I hope you all are fine and safe. In today's video, I will tell you types of sentences. We will learn a lot of new things today. I will share some key points and some examples which will clear your all confusions. So without any further ado, let's start. Hey Sakib, how are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm also doing great. Great. Let's start our today's topic. Sure. Today I will teach you some very important points and you have to listen to them very carefully. Yeah, I will. So first point is whenever we are talking to someone, especially then we use four kind of sentences. First one is affirmative sentences, second is negative sentences, third is interrogative sentences and the last one is interrogative negative sentences. Can you please explain them? Ikrar ya jumle means jis sentences mein hum kisi se agree kar rahe ho, un sentences ko hum affirmative sentences kehte hain. Second one is inkar ya jumlo ko negative sentences kehte hain. Means jab bhi hum kisi se disagree kar rahe ho kisi sentence mein, un sentence ko negative kehte hain. So third one is sawal ya jumlo ko Interrogative sentences कहते हैं means जिसमें हम किसी से सवाल कर रहे हों तो उन्हें हम interrogative कहते हैं. Now we are moving towards our next point. इकरार या जुमले means जिसमें हम agree कर रहे हैं उनमें noun और pronoun के बाद helping verb लगते हैं और जुमले के end में full stop लगाया जाता है. So in negative sentences Noun ya pronoun ke baad helping verb to lagta hai. But what is the difference? In negative sentences, after helping verb, we use not. And in the end, we use full stop. So in interrogative sentences, helping verb se sentence ko shuru kiya jata hai. And noun or pronoun helping verb ke baad lagta hai. And in the end, we place a question mark. If you want to learn in detail about interrogative sentences, I have explained each and everything in my previous video. Click this i button and check that video out. Moving towards our next point. M ko helping verb kehte hain aur M ka istemal sirf I ke saath hota hai. Jab hume M ke saath interrogative negative sentence banana ho, tab jumla M se shuru hota hai and after M we place I and after I we will write not and in the end we will place a question mark and we should always remember that this is the only way we can construct interrogative negative sentence with I. Except helping verb M. If any other helping verb we are using there are two ways to construct a sentence. What are those two ways? Okay, I will tell you. The first way is, first way is very easy. Jumle ko helping verb se shuru karenge. And after helping verb, we will write not. And after not, we will write noun or pronoun. And in the end, we will place a question mark. What is the second way? The second way is, Sentence will start with helping verb only, but after helping verb, first we will place pronoun or a noun, and after pronoun or a noun, we will use not, and in the end, we will place a question mark. So, is there any rules or regulation while using these methods? No, there are no rules. You can use any method. Jo tarika aapko asaan lage, wo aap use kar sakte hain. Our next key point is, in interrogative sentence, if there is any quotient words, for example, why, what, where, when, etc. So, interrogative sentence will start with quotient word and after that, we will write helping verb and after that, a noun or a pronoun and in the end, we will place a quotient mark. Is it necessary to use question mark or full stop after a sentence? Oh yes, 
says, question mark and full stop are very important if we don't use them after the sentence, so this will be counted in our biggest grammatical mistake. Oh, I got it. Now, I will share some examples with you, and after that, your all confusions will be cleared. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot. So, our first sentence is, I am hungry. Main bhooki hoon. This is affirmative sentence. Now, I will convert this affirmative sentence into negative. So, how will I convert this sentence into negative? By adding not. So, I am not hungry. Main bhooki nahi hoon. Oh, this is so easy. Yes, it is. Now, I will convert this negative sentence into interrogative. Am I hungry? Kya main bhooki hoon? We have previously learned the construction of interrogative sentence when we have helping verb I. We have learned that in the beginning, we will write helping verb I, after that a noun or a pronoun, and after the I, we will write any action and after that we will place a question mark now last is interrogative negative sentence how will you convert the sentence into interrogative negative sentence am i not hungry Kya main bhooki nahi hu? oh this is so interesting now it's your turn. I will give you an affirmative sentence and you have to convert it into negative, interrogative, interrogative, negative sentence. Yes, yeah, sure. I will. So our affirmative sentence is, Aisha is faultless. Means, Aisha be kasur hai. Now, convert it into other three forms. So first one is negative sentence. We will write... Aisha is not faultless means Aisha be kasoor nahi hai. Well done. Now, is Aisha faultless? Kya Aisha be kasoor hai? This is interrogative sentence. Outstanding. Okay, so last one is, is not Aisha faultless? Or we can also write it as, is Aisha not faultless? Means, kya Aisha be kasoor nahi hai? If you have learned anything from this video, so don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button. So whenever I post a new video, you will get notified. And please share this video with your family and friends. Allah Hafiz, apni dua mein yaad rakhiga.